Alright guys, I joined the pickup game on um, the ultra hardcore channel on QuakeNet and uh, this, this is going to be interesting. I haven't played ultra hardcore yet, so uh, it might be a bit until we actually start here. Uh, I don't recognize the names of any of these guys, so I have no idea if they're actually good or not, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully my lag won't kill me here, and uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when we actually start because that might take a while, but at least now we got a proper introduction, and yeah, we can't even move here, it just stops. <laughs> and the admin is running around just verifying everything, so I'll bring you back the second we start. Okay, it seems like we're ready here, and there are some new rules here, and uh, no killing the first day, and uh, it looks like, oh, cool. We're started. We get some wood here. So yeah, there's no killing the first day, and uh, that's kind of weird. But and there's of course no branch mining, strip mining, stuff like that. So only natural caving. Uh, I guess you probably. I. I don't know who that is, but uh, maybe I've played with him. Before I don't recognize the Nick. Italy is winning over Germany. Oh, right. Hi. Yeah, I'll. Uh, <laughs> that's why he said hi. I can understand. So I'll, I'll just move on, I guess. Just um, get some planks up here and get a. I'll use his bench though if he really wants to. So, make myself a pick and an axe, and I'll get some more wood. Um, Seriously, are people actually cooperating the first day? I did not expect that at all. I expected when you see somebody, you kill them or get killed. <laughs> this is uh, this it? Yeah, but sure, this is interesting. I'll probably use that for some other stuff. Yeah, but I want to get get away from other people and. Um, basically, I want to try get some wood, try get some food here, just something. Uh, I'll pick up a few seeds just in case I need to resort to actually using the um, getting some wheat. I don't want to spend the whole first night just looking at wheat. I'm not badge. That's yeah, that's not me. But uh, no offense, badge. Look at you watching, but, but still. Well, if you have one seed and some bones, you'll probably be alright, I guess. Hmm. Oh, this is the world border. Okay, so I'm actually at the border already. There is something over there. So, yeah, there's lava over here. That's actually a good thing. I don't see any animals though. I haven't seen any animals, so I should probably just follow the desert over here because it's still midday. There's snow killing the first day. I guess when it's night, you could probably kill people, but and I feel that I'm really ab not using the time <laughs> in a good way here. Uh, I should probably just dig down, get some. 
I'll dig down parallel to that other guy. Just to get some cobble so at least I can make a sword and a pick. And just in case. Just in case I fuck up and really, really need to kill a lot of animals really quickly. Because I don't want to go around punching animals, that's uh, so boring. So we'll just make our basic stuff here. Man, uh, I don't feel like I'm really getting like a flying start here in any way, but uh, well, at least I haven't died yet, so that's something, right? Oh, I have some blocks, I have some stuff here. I could probably make some torches by burning some of that wood if I need it, so I'm not. Yeah, I should probably run. Yeah, okay, I see some pigs at least. I don't need much food. If I can get like five, six, seven, maybe eight of some food. Oh, chickens. Chicken, chicken good. That would actually be enough to keep me the first night. And that's the important thing. And I don't want to eat raw food, so... Though, in real life, raw food is actually quite good. The, you know, the vegan stuff. It is cool, but... Uh, oh, thank you, lost some health already. I think because these don't really seem like experienced players, it seems kind of disorganized. I'm, I'm not sure, of course, and I haven't really talked to any people, but it still it seems like a spur of the moment thing. So... I might try to just outlast people, just, you know, stay alive for the first couple of nights, and if I can do that, I should probably be fine, I guess. And yeah, and we want to find a good cave opening somewhere. We're getting a lot of chicken, f chicken here. That's good. We do, we, we're gonna need it. So I have some food. Uh, I don't want to dig down and or get in a cave until we actually need to, though. So um, let's see. Yeah, the first day is still friendly, so I'll just check something here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, just had to verify that I'm actually recording and not just talking to myself. Because, you know, I don't want to seem crazy. Not that that anyone is watching, but this is good. Proper wood. We could actually get some stuff here. Um, the server seems really, really fine. No lag at all. But it almost looks like my game is lagging a bit. I might have to kind of just reload fraps. Just stop and start recording. Uh, actually, I'll try that. Yeah, that's better. For some reason, Fraps seems to kind of lag me down a bit. Just at some time, sometimes, you know. So, there's a lot of stone here. Uh, I guess I'll just grab enough for a furnace and start. Yeah, I know. I just don't, didn't want to use my good tools for that. Let's see. Just get enough for a furnace. Let's get a furnace going and just burn some food, I guess. So first, I just want a couple of these these guys. Oh, I'll just do it with this. Should be enough. Get some more wood in the meantime. I've actually never tried playing Ultra Hardcore before, but I always wanted to try it, and uh, that was that was kind of fun when when uh, the guy just came into the channel and just asked, "Hey, do anyone does anyone want to actually play some Ultra Hardcore?" Yeah, sure, <laughs> I'll play. So yeah, I think I'm not going to actually fry up this. I'll just eat it just to replenish my health for a while now. Hopefully it'll do that. When it's night. Oh, it's almost night, so we need to start digging down pretty soon. Or we could actually just... No, I don't want to go kill people on the first night. That's stupid because you don't have any armor. People might have some leather armor and shit. So, oh, someone's having problems. 
this thing is probably oh yeah I, I just want to get rid of this axe at this point just gonna get this coal just to have basic amount of coal going and right and I do have some torches and I need to fix my inventory because because I'm kind of anal about that. Right, this is correct. Good. We have 12 coal. That's good. That's probably enough just to kind of light up a cave and kind of just get going here. Maybe we got another app or something. Oh, I see a bad guy over there. So things are already starting to spawn. And that is not a good thing. Yeah. I'm not going to mess with you guy. You can fuck off. So I'm thinking basically that we should probably go in somewhere around here. Just make ourselves a little ho hidey hole. A couple of feet under the ground here, or meters under the ground. <coughs> like this. So yeah, I know people will probably see that and recognize it immediately, but I am going down and I'm finding a cave. And that's it. That's that's my whole plan right now. Just I'm gonna find a cave. We have some basic torches here. What I want to do is get at least. <coughs> Sorry about that. Far enough down to not being able to be spotted from the. Ooh. Well, one down. Let's see. One, two, Eleven to go. <laughs> Not including present company, of course. So it's me versus these eleven guys. It used to be twelve. And people are talking shit already. Yeah. I guess I can't really um, expect my crack levels of courtesy and stuff like that. So let's see. We have our first iron. Um, according to you know, to this you should probably use your first iron for something else than an iron pick. Not me. I'm um, I'm using it for an iron pick just because it helps me mine faster and time is basically the most precious resource you have except for health in this thing. You know, if you have your health and you have time, you can do anything. If you don't have time, of course having time is kind of abstract in itself, but still, as long as you are good at those points, you're probably good, so we're at level 40, <sighs> just do a quick check for names here, I don't see anything, and we're far enough down now, I think, so we should be able to go pretty undetected. So let's keep on going. We'll make ourselves an iron and a stone pick, I guess. This is shit. I'll probably burn it the next time I had a chance. This. We're fine. And we'll make a shovel because we're, we are going gonna need it and we can probably just get rid of the last coal there I can probably have picked up my axe again but yeah it's not important hopefully we'll find a cave down here because I don't want to dig down to bedrock and just sit there and just well fuck it I want to find a cave, oh this is probably a good sign I'm gonna turn off the sound a bit because I want to be 
able to actually hear if there's something. People are talking shit with bad grammar. That was epic. <laughs> apple? Probably a golden apple, but I don't think somebody has that. I'm not actually out for any apples right now because apples won't actually help you unless you are damaged. You're not going to use an apple when you're actually fighting someone. The chance of actually having time to use that is more or less zero. And I'm not going to the nether. Oh no, I'm not. It is a fair bet. If you find melons and you're able to get some melons, it might be a good thing because you can get a couple of blaze rods and some net um, net worth, and you're basically set. So we're all the way down here, and nothing happened. Oh, we end this. We Andy, the little Andy. It's, uh, if I were smart, I would probably go back and just find some more iron and then go back and kill Super because I know more or less where he is. We're down at the low level here. We'll try making this staircase the other way. Just to see if we can actually find something down here, but uh oh man. Well, Donnie is out. Did find some more stuff here. So the next thing we want is probably some armor. I could have went for some an iron uh, sword or something. But I think the investment is better if you can get first you save up for a chest plate. I think that is the best bang for a buck. Because it's only one more than uh, Yeah, we are going to make a chest plate right now. And then you make a sword because the chest plate gives you like half your ammo ammo. So using two more just to get Just get uh, some better, better attack. That's probably a good thing. So it's probably not too far until it's day again. And when it's day, I want to be up there. I want to kill somebody. And oh, right, we got a cave. We got some more iron. Zombies down there. Do we have anything behind this? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, that's not bad. Not good. I mean, that's bad. That's really bad. So we'll do the top one first. And usually, I I try to get quickly through the cave because if you stay for too long, p things start to kind of accumulate. The mobs and such. Now we're probably far enough up that people can almost see me again. If you have watched my videos before, you know my routine for, you know, marking off stuff, right? Right, this is dead end. I'm not going to close off th stuff, but uh Oh, we have a creeper in here. Damn it. But he's not going to come to us, is he? Oh, he isn't. Well, that's I'm sorry if this is a bit loud though, um, but I got away the possibility of getting sneak attacked from by something against you hearing me loudly over the over the audio here. So yeah.
this is a bit reckless I know but what I'm hoping to do is basically get through here that might actually be as he's talking about there it might be I'm not saying it is but it might be so we have to sneak back to our oh, that's retarded sneak back to our furnace and see if we can get a kill here. 